Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18 c and we're looking at cluster bombs. So we can have them on pylons 2, 3, 5, 7 and 8. So if we go on pylon 3, we can have them in two flavours at the moment. CBU 99 and a Mark 20 Rockeye. We will also get the CBU 100 in the future. They are a similar canister with minor differences with the same unguided armor-piercing bomblets with different fusing between the different three types. We can also have them mounted on BRU-33 racks, giving us two CBU-99s or two Mark-20s per pylon. Let's just take two Mark-20s overall to keep things simple. Request rearming. Bombs are armed. Now that shows setting the bombs up. You'd usually do this in the air, but we can do it in the ground if we want. Tactical menu, stores, the RE is our Mark 20 in this case. We're going to start with mode. We can drop them however we like, but the default for a cluster bomb will be auto. Mechanical fuse must be VT, variable timing. E fuse has changed four times since we've had this aircraft in early access, and January 2020, we have to have it off. Do not listen to what it says in the manual. HT is the height in feet AGL above the ground at which the canister will separate and release the sub munitions we get all these lovely options but we can only use as per the user manual 1500 in any of these type of bombs at the moment if that changes i shall let you know quantity and multiple are the same as they are in any bomb and we'll just change it for fun so that the quantity is two and the multiple is two so we'll salvo two bombs at once that's a setup let's get in the air and go and do some bombing we're airborne now so let's turn our master arm on and switch to air to ground the controls we'll be using today will be scs forward to assign our tdc to the hud for aiming a tdc depress to lock the ground target and press and hold weapon release to drop the bombs the method is the same method i show in my general unguided bombing tutorial so we're just going to get it done rather than explain how everything works scs forward Place the reticle on the target and press. TDC depress, how about oh, that there? Fly the line, power on. Um, I should say, oh, needless to say, your altitude needs to be above our drop height, our AGL drop height here. So just make sure our AGL is above it and we're plenty above that. Now, the higher you are, the safer you will be. The higher you are, the less accurate you will be. Press and release weapons. Uh, release arms away enjoy the fireworks and that is some hey that worked really well that is some destroyed vehicles that's how it works uh january 2020 i look forward to redoing this video a fifth time when they change it again i hope you enjoyed that bye